some reason, we still haven't gotten around to it. Yeah. And the diagram, is it is it uh, like that too, or does it tell you the right way? Like you're saying, the dots don't match <clears throat> down below. Um, and the di diagram, you've got, like, she's working on a yellow thread right now, and it shows the thread that's yellow in the diagram, which matches to the yellow dots down here. Mm -hmm. So it goes to this. The one thing that doesn't match are the dots on the tension dot up here. Because she's working on the yellow thread. You're already starting to know which one you're through. Yeah. So. But if you look at it, I mean, it's the third wheel over that has the yellow thread on the chart. That's what we've got here. Okay, okay so let's see. All right. Okay, so I see it's going through. It's like you said, this is up instead of being down. But, exactly. Uh, this is going through there, and then it goes through that one. Mm -hmm. And then it goes, it goes. It looks like it goes through here and then in the front, mm -hmm. and then comes in the back. Yep, which is this day. And then, oh, then it starts to go up here. Mm -hmm. I knew this would be Okay, so then it goes there. So from down there it goes here to this one. That's um, this one? Yeah. And then, now no, where does it go? It's uh, this little hook up here, so you're going to need to use the clutch and the hand wheel to bring that into view. Okay, so. So that, so, oh, so I see from here, it's going, how does it go? I'm going to move this slightly. Is there so a little hole that it goes through? It's going from right to left and back to front through here. I it's, don't know. it's really crazy. You'll see the yellow thread come through. It'll probably be from here there. And then it's going to go like front to back through it. this last little bit. Okay, so, let me see. so when you pull the yellow through, watch how that knot travels. That'll give you a good indication of exactly what's going on. But you can see why starting from scratch takes so much longer. It would almost be easier if the end knot before wasn't there because it's just like this big tangle of colors that are all right in the same area that you're working with. So, yeah. so there's a little hole. Once it goes through the hole, is that it? Yeah. That's it? Well, no, there's two holes. There's, um, there's the first hole over here and mm -hmm. the second hole over here. So just go ahead and pull it through. Watch what the knot does and you'll see the knot disappear from the middle. to see and tell me. There, I think the yellow shows up a little bit. That's not going to be. How would you get that through from here to there? It's a pain. You have to do the two stages. Mix the tweezers and stick it through back to front here. Mm -hmm. And then you would. And how would you see it better? Does this come into better view? You just have to move it around to the best oh, here I see. This is a lot better. Okay, grab your tweezers. <laughs> what well, you don't want to do. Yeah. <laughs> you should be able to still grab it. It happens. <laughs> and now pull out on the plastic here. Okay, and then to okay, keep the tension. Mm -hmm. And now you should be able to pull it. And that's it. Okay. Now you're going to pass that back behind this piece of mixture. And you're going to come out. Through, just through here? Uh huh, just aim for coming out right about there. Right here? Yep. There you go. And it looks like you may have gotten the twist up. No, you're free. Okay, good. Yay! All right. Have you got about 10 inches over here? You can see. Oops. Okay, give yourself a bit more, a bit more fit. All right. Perfect. Two down. <laughs> Who's up for the first needle thread? All right. Okay. 
at this point, we can close up this bottom cover plate. We've done it in for some time. <laughs> and for the needle thread, we're working in a whole different area. We're going to come over to this bizarre fixture here. Now, this gets really hard to see, but there is a little bit of... Oh, actually, let's... Sorry. I'm going to keep this open so we can see the chart. You can see this area here has been expanded down here for easier visibility. The tricky parts to remember for the needle is in this section here, we have three holes we're going through. The t first needle thread, which in this case is yellow going to red, is always going to be on top. So it's going to go top here, top here, top here. The second needle thread, always bottom, bottom, bottom. But it goes through all three points here. Then there's another guide over here, half of marked by the dots. And then the fun part is down just above the needle. We have a closed gate that we have to stick the end of the thread down through. Then we have a friction plate here. You're going to need to take the thread behind the friction plate, one thread on either side of the screw, and then there's some open gates to go down through. Then we get to go through the middle. So for this one, you can follow along, same as you did for the loopers, until you get to the needle. Then you have to cut the thread and thread the needle manually. It's not will not through the eye. So go for it. On the top thread, it may look simpler, but definitely check these paths as well. I see just as many arrows in the top thread as on the other course. Okay, so now I just need to thread it. Mm -hmm. And you get the wonderful joy of threading the most awkward needle <laughs> ever. Um, definitely wet the ends, trim it again if you need to, and uh, tweezers are very helpful. Yeah. Yes, which makes sense. 